Hi, I'm Steve Diggs. Welcome back to Insights. Great content at the speed of light. In today's lightning round, I want to talk with you a little bit about how to do a to-do list. Because successful people understand that if we're going to fully succeed with our time, we have to have a game plan. That game plan is called a to-do list. And again, I'm going to tell you that it doesn't count if it's not written down. I don't care whether you have a fancy pad, a yellow pad, or an iPad. You've got to write this stuff down. Down. So how does this work? How does it play out? Let me share with you four vital keys for doing a to-do list. Number one, we need to realize that we've got to do tomorrow's to-do list today, tonight, before we leave work or through the day as we're doing things. That way we're putting things down that we're really abreast of, we're thinking about these things, we're in the middle of them. If you wait until the next morning, you'll forget things and it'll take up time in the front of the day when you really ought to be doing things rather than making a list. Number two, we need to learn to prioritize the order of importance and then stick to that. This means that once I have my list ready, I'm going to go through each item and I'm going to pick out the ones that I need to do first. Like maybe this one's number one and I'll do this number two, number three, number four, number five, uh, number six. And that way, at least this way, if I run out of time before I run out of things to do, I will have done the most important things first and they will be behind me. Number three, we need to learn how to grow a spine and do the tough stuff first. Now this doesn't play well in our own self-indulgent, you know, self-gratifying world. We want instant gratification. But the key to this thing is to understand that if there's something we don't want to do, in some cases it's best to jump into that first thing. Because if you've got a job that you really you really hate having to do. Maybe it's, a, a, maybe it's a conference with an employee that you don't want to have to deal with. Maybe it's a tough phone call. Maybe it's a client that never gives you anything but grief. If you put that off until the end of the day, all day long you're going to be dreading it. It's going to be in the back of your mind. So you won't be enjoying the process of the day up until that point. And then you finally do it and you go home in a bad mood. But if instead we just step in, as some, one writer has said, and eat our problems for breakfast and do this job first, then the rest of the day is downhill from there. It's easy and we go home relaxed. And number four, I would recommend that we mark each job off as we do it. Why? Because this just makes us feel good. It shows that we have accomplished things. It is so helpful to look at a list that we've highlighted, crossed out things, X things on, whatever it takes. And we say, wow, I've gotten all that done. Maybe I didn't get everything done, but look what I did accomplish. I'm Steve Diggs. This has been Insights. Great content at the speed of light. I'll catch you next time.